شكراً يا ربي شكراً هديت قلبي شكراً أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبي الرحمة محمد بن عبد الله وآله وصحبه أجمعين My dear beloved brothers and sisters in Islam I greet you with the most beautiful greeting the greeting of peace, the greeting of people of Jannah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I am honored to be with you in this blessed month of Ramadan May Allah Ta'ala accept all our good deeds. May Allah Ta'ala bless us. Virtues, all the virtues of Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree and the night of power. And the last 10 days of Ramadan will be the subject of our reminder today, insha'Allah Ta'ala. Among the unique virtues of the last 10 days of Ramadan is Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree, the night of power. Allah Ta'ala says in Surah Al-Dukhan, chapter 44, verses 1 to 6. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hamim. Wal Kitab al Mubin. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatin mubaraka. Inna kunna mundirin. Fiha yufraku kullu amrin hakim. Amrin min indina. Inna kunna mursilin. Rahmatan min rabbik. Inna hu hu sami wal alim. My brothers, my sisters in Islam, on the night of Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree, the night of power, the destiny of all creatures for the coming years is decreed. On this blessed night, so many sins are forgiven, so many faults are concealed, many people are saved from punishment because of what they do. To worship Allah Taala, it is the night of forgiveness. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Whoever stays up during Laylatul Qadr, out of out of faith and in hope, or in the hope of any reward, all his previous sins will be forgiven." This hadith is narrated by Imam Al Bukhari and Imam Al Muslim. So the special, unique characteristics of the night of Laylatul Qadr can be summarized as follows. Number one, it is the night on which the Noble Qur'an was sent down. It is the night on which the Noble Qur'an was sent down. Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr. It is better than a thousand months. So blessed and peace. إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر It is the night decreed every matter of ordinance فيها يفرق كل أمر حكيم It is the night that Allah تبارك وتعالى out of his mercy forgives the previous sins as we mentioned in the previous hadith as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned, whoever stays up during Laylatul Qadr out of, out of faith and in the hope of any reward, all his previous sins will be forgiven. My brothers, my sisters in Islam, Laylatul Qadr, the night of power, the night of decree, is in the last 10 days of Ramadan. And it is more it is and it is more likely to be on the odd numbered nights. Based on the hadith that the Messenger of Allah Ta'ala said, seek Laylatul Qadr in the odd numbered nights of the last ten nights, narrated by Abu Khari. Odd numbered nights, my brothers, or odd numbered nights. Are 21st, 23rd, 25th, 27th, and 29th. 21st, 23rd, 25th, 27th, and 29th. So, Laylatul Qadr could be on the 21st. Could be, could be on the 23rd. 
could be on the 25th, could be on the 27th, could be on the 29th. So work hard from night of 21st, because it could be on the 21st, it could be on the 23rd, it could be on the 25th, it could be on the 27th, it could be on the 29th. Even though it, it is most likely to be on the night of 27th, because many of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam companions were of the view that it it is most likely to be on the ninth of 27th. Also, many or majority of Muslim scholars are of this view that the night of Laylat al Qadr it is most likely to be on the 9th of 27. Also, there is hadith narrated by Imam Ahmed indicated that. Finally, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, why Allah Ta'ala, or what is the wisdom in concealing these blessed nights? According to our scholars, Allah Ta'ala has concealed this night so that his slaves, we, Ibadullah, where Ibadur Rahman will strive hard to seek it. Allah Ta'ala has concealed this night so that we will strive hard, we will work hard to seek this night. We will strive hard to worship Allah Ta'ala and make Lord of Dua and we will strive hard to make Lord of Worship seeking to get closer to Allah Ta'ala. So my brother, work hard. This is your chance and take advantage of this. I pray to Allah Ta'ala, the merciful, to make us among those who will meet the Laylatul Qadr, who will meet this, this blessed night. May Allah Ta'ala help us to finish this Ramadan with the highest degree of Iman and Taqwa. Barakallahu feekum. May Allah Ta'ala bless you. May Allah Ta'ala accept all our good deeds. May Allah Ta'ala bless our children, offspring, protect us from all evil. Barakallahu feekum. Hada wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.